But to look your enemy in the eye, knowing you'll remember his face for the rest of your life, now that takes a stomach much stronger than you'll ever have. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to GB Gaming. Uh, today I want to do a, a short kind of uh, video vlog thingamajiggy um, that uh, discusses, uh, let's just move that down there so you can see what's going on here, uh, that discusses the um, Final Frontier open beta, that's for Star Trek Armada 3 uh, as you can see here. Uh, we've recently made the uh, beta open uh, which means it's free to anybody who wants to join in, but uh, I do understand that uh, that Bane here, there he is, uh, he did a video the other day that discussed how to do it, and he's also written a very useful guide on how to do it. Uh, but some of you are still struggling, uh, those of you who are still struggling may appreciate this, it may be useful, it may not be, let's hope it is. Uh, there are a few, well, I, I suppose you'd call them hoops to jump through in order to get onto the open beta. Uh, it does take a little bit of effort, but it means you're up to date at all times. Any time that uh, any of my colleagues uh, in SDA3 makes a change to the core files, uh, you'll be able to update that almost straight away, which is pretty cool stuff. Um, and that allows you to give up to the minute feedback on the changes that we're making. Really, really awesome. I, I absolutely love the concept of it. Uh, but as I say, we've got hoops. Uh, Let's start with uh, the two first install hoops. Uh, there are two programs that you will need in order to make it go. Nice. Uh, the first of these is called Git. Uh, it's called gitscm.com. I'm going to provide all the links that we discuss in the description below. So take a look at those. Um, so first thing you need to do is, of course, download gitscm. So uh, you'll see this little thing here saying download for Windows. Uh, your download is starting. Uh, I'm just going to start it up, but I'm not going to run it because I've already got it on my computer, which is always fun. Um, so we've, we've got about a minute on that. So what Git does is it allows you to have a peer-to-peer uh, -peer sharing technique from a central database. It's, uh, it's very, very useful. So if I make some changes, I can push them to the uh, central database. They are then saved there. And uh, any time that you log on, you can do something called a pull. Uh, and that pull uh, will allow you to uh, get hold of those changes. Uh, very, very cool. Got, uh, ooh, God, still got 26 seconds left. God, it, it's breaking my balls, man. It's breaking my balls. We'll get there eventually, though. Um, and then we will very, very briefly go through the little installation technique on that. Um, now, we're also going to have something in a few minutes called Tortoise Kit. Tortoise Kit is the actual tunneling of it. So uh, that allows you to have a couple more options uh, and a pretty nifty little menu. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, Git 64-bit XE. It's recognized. Okay, let's click yes uh, when it... Uh, prompts you. Uh, we've got GNU public license. Uh, I advise everybody to absolutely read through every word on this, but I've done so before so I don't have to. Uh, and it's going to give you a load of options like this. Don't bother to change any of them. They're all just fine. Yes, 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 um, yes. And then you'll be clicking install and it will go through that. Uh, of course, I'm not going to do it here, but it will then install it and tell you when the install is complete. Fantastic. I know setup's not complete. Don't worry about that. We're now done installing Git. And then we're going to have Tortoise Git. So, of course, we click to download here. Uh, you will have a 64-bit bit operating system. Uh, if you have a 32-bit operating system, Star Trek Armada 3 is not going to work for you anyway, so... You're going to choose the 64-bit one. And then you'll download it in almost exactly the same way that you did git so tortoise uh, is uh, there you go windows shell interface to git so that that basically allows you a better interface um to uh to talk to git uh and then of course you would just open it and run it it's just computing my space requirements there and then you'd go next 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 uh, you don't have to change any of the settings on that either so just click next and click install and once it's done yay it's done now uh you think at that point that you're pretty much there no, <laughs> no, you're not, I'm afraid. There are two other things that we need to sign up to. So we've got the programs that we need now uh, in order to make it all go correctly. That's awesome stuff. But in order to get the beta, uh, which is actually get the files from the game itself, there are two 
websites here that we need to sign up to. The first is called gitlab.com. There it is there. Uh, you can see I've got a username there, but you'll be able, you'll be creating your own username. So create your own username, save it, uh, remember your username, and then progress to bitbucket.org. Uh, again, of course, the descriptions will be in the link below. Uh, and sign up to that, ideally using the same username if you possibly can. Uh, once you've got those, take a note of your username, and then uh, in the last video, Bane will have communicated uh, both his and my Skype address. Uh, you can either go via that, or you can of course go onto the Star Trek Armada 3 page, uh, find either myself or Bane, or one of the other creators on there, um, and message them over, over on ModDB, that's that's here. So uh, one an easy way of doing it is, uh, look, there you go, send message. So you can send message, uh, that will come through to the to the leaders um, of Star Trek Armada 3 and we'll be able to uh, add you to our repositories, which are here. Um, so just tell us your username, uh, ideally tell us your email address as well, the one that you primarily use, because we're going to be adding you to something else called Slack, which allows you to report to us. Um, we'll discuss that. A little bit later so uh, what then happens is we'll accept you and we will add you and then you'll get something that looks very like this um, when you log into firstly GitLab that's the one that you want to start with so here we are uh, what you need to do is you'll go to Star Trek Armada 3 you'll see that you've got this HTTPS link copy it seems right quite easy doesn't it uh, and then you're gonna to want to go to where you want your mod installed which generally speaking is uh, documents my games, oh, Ironclad Games, Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion, and for the sake of argument, because I've already got it in here, you will want it in Mods Rebellion 1.85. Alright guys, sorry about that, just have to have a little cut there, so what we'll do is we'll go to Git Clone, uh, you can see we've got the GitLab thing already pasted in here, which is fantastic, we'll click OK, and it will then prompt us to put our username in, uh, which in my case is C Menheniot. fantastic stuff, and then it will prompt us to put our password in. Uh, which I think is this. There we go. And now you'll see the little tortoise dancing into the file forever. You can see that um, what will now happen is it will download uh, the contents of the original mod. Let's just uh, open this up a little bit so you can see what's going on. Now this is going to take some time. Uh, don't be afraid of the amount of time it takes. Uh, one thing that I would suggest is if you've got a, a poor or intermittent connection, uh, do be aware that this, uh, sometimes it might fail. Um, generally speaking, if you've got a pretty strong connection and uh, other people using it doesn't phase it at all, not going to be a problem. However, if you've got a weak connection, if, you've, if you're only getting uh, slow speeds, if you're connected by, by Wi-Fi, any, any of those kind of considerations, Try and download this perhaps overnight maybe uh, when nobody else is using the internet and when of course you're not using the internet yourself because I know we're all guilty of uh, wanting to go on YouTube while other things are happening in the background but it can affect it. Uh, one thing that Tortoise uh, or Tortoise Git if you like is very very bad for is um, if the speed is affected of your download in any way, like if there's a sudden burst in speed or it re it slows down to a crawl suddenly, then it can uh, cause Git to do something called uh, Git did not exit cleanly, which basically means your download's broken and you've got nothing. So this is basically what happens. You'll see uh, you're receiving objects file-wise. Uh, it'll tell you the speed that is going on. It's going at about 40 megabytes for me, which is actually not too bad. I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, and you will have a percentage here. Now this is the percentage in number of files. So you'll find a lot of people find that it gets to about 31% and it sticks there for ages. Don't be afraid of that. What that actually genuinely means, or generally means, I should say, not genuinely, or also genuinely, uh, is it has reached some high density files. So things like textures, uh, some of the larger meshes, things like that, they're very, very large files. So that percentage isn't necessarily reflective of the amount that you've uh, downloaded compared to the total amount. Once it's done, so we'll actually cut to when it's done. Alright guys, we're back and our download has completed. Fantastic, you can see all the nice files in there and you've got these little green blah 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 blahs. That's always good news, but there is one more step. You can see now that's turned red because it's not up to date with my most current version. There we are though. Right, so what do we need to do in order to bring it to the most current version? What we have just done is we've downloaded the GitLab's version. Now the GitLab version, that's what we call our base version. Uh, it allows people to download the vast majority of the mod, 
but not quite all of it. Um, and the reason for that is because this here, this has been our, this Bitbucket version, it's been our working version for a very, very long time. I think getting on for six years, it's massive, it's bloated, um, and the commit history, which you can see here, these are all the changes that uh, individuals are making, it makes it very, very unwieldy, and we find that it crashes when you're trying to download the whole version pretty much every time, whereas GitLab doesn't. But because we've got the GitLab, we can download what's most of it, and then we switch over to uh, Bitbucket. So with Bitbucket, we, we're just doing a patch, if you will. So it's a much, much smaller amount that you need to download. Therefore, the um, the possibility of crashing is minimized. That That's good news. But how do we change it over to Bitbucket? So first thing I want to do is, of course, um, Control C, I'll copy this. Uh, we'll go copy. There we go. Minimize that. So we know we've got the file here. The next thing that we need to do is right click on the existing Star Trek Armada 3 folder. Select Git Sync, which is one of the new options that you have from the technology you downloaded. Go to Manage at the right hand side of this new menu that opens up. Okay, now that we're here, we go to Origin. And you can see the GitLab. There it is. Uh, but we need to replace that. Re replace that URL. Uh, we'll Control V it. And it will now become your Bitbucket URL. That is fantastic stuff. We'll then click Apply. Click OK. So it knows what it is now. Uh, I would suggest that you go close and then uh, git sync again. Now we're going to do uh, what's called a pull at the bottom left hand side. Let's click pull. It's going to prompt us for a password, which again, I can't remember. Uh, let's try it. There you go. And it's now going to download the patched files. You can see that there are 140 files that have changed uh, since the last version that I had. It's going to do that, receiving objects. Shouldn't take too long at all, so I'll actually wait for this one. Uh, there it is. It is complete. Or just about complete. It's, it's pretty much complete, but it's having to think about it. And once it's complete, you have the most up-to-date version, no doubt about it. Um, there's only one thing left for you to do. This is really taking a lot longer than I wanted it to. Come on, you s arse. Should we just chill? Let's just chill. Files are complete, it's just, how, it's, it's just having to think about it. Well, anyhow, let's get rid of that. Uh, now that this is complete, we have the most up-to-date build. But one thing that we don't have is, that's opened itself in a different window. Um, there we go, one thing that we don't have is this correct? So one thing that we do need to do is we now need to um, do the en enabled mod. So what you'll generally be faced with if you haven't already got a mod enabled is something that looks like this. So what we have to do then is change the enabled mod name to 1, grab the enabled mod name, Control c Control v and then we're going to put it in brackets. There are the brackets right there. I always tend to right-click the uh, the file, go to rename, and then Control C it to copy, and then last but not least, paste it in. Pretty simple, right? And then of course save it. Uh, now yours might look a little bit different. Yours might look like um, if I just double-click on it and drag it over. Yours might look like this, uh, but that's okay. That, this is standard Notepad, and this is something called Notepad++. You don't need Notepad++, don't worry about it. You can do this in standard Notepad. Once that is done, and we have Star Trek Armada 3, uh, we can then launch it. I don't actually have the link here, but I do have the developer shortcut, so let's just open that up. Um, I do recommend that anybody who is doing any testing uh, and they want to help us find any errors, because that's the whole purpose of having an open beta like this, is to, f is to find and squash bugs with us, is stick it in the developer branch. So uh, rather than in Mods Rebellion 1.85, jam it in 1.85 dev, as I've got mine there, which is fantastic stuff. You can see I've got <laughs> some extra bits and bobs. Um, which we've been looking at, there's some Borg music that uh, that my colleague Anthony the did Federation a while back. Stands at a and there are the there's the Federation standing at a precipice. And here we are with the latest version of the mod. Look at all those beautiful planets, look at all that stuff going on in the background, and look at the old Excalibur. Uh, the new one is actually pretty much ready, so you, you hopefully should be seeing that quite soon. Right, away that goes.
So, we have the latest version. A, it's a bit of a long road. It does take two, three hours sometimes, uh, but I hope you'll agree that it's worth it in the end. Uh, now, there are other things that we use. There's a program called Slack, um, where we're going to be asking the beta to live, and that's why we're going to ask you to send us your email address. Uh, and what you'll have the opportunity to do, I have more options than you guys, um, so let's just hide that, is... You can see that there is something called an SDA3 beta page. We'll be adding you to the SDA3 beta page on the general page. And you can see uh, Trek Fan, Caesars Legion, uh, The X, uh, various different people. A lot of Caesars Legion there. Uh, <laughs> hi, Caesar. They are discussing the mod. Uh, we've got Revan, uh, various other things. Picard, there's Picard. Um, and as you can see, Matt Ross Cam, there he is. Fantastic Matt Ross Cam. He's been a long, long time follower of the channel and of SDA3. Um, they're all discussing the mod. Uh, unacceptable. That was me earlier at work. Um, <laughs> and we're going to add you to this, and it'll give you the opportunity to uh, discuss things that you like, things that you don't like with other like-minded people, and of course to repo report bugs directly to us. Uh, that's something that we'll do as well. So now that we're there, that's pretty much it. You just play the game, you report any bugs to us, uh, you will sometimes get bugs that uh, in developer mode they'll flash up on the screen and they'll tell you that there's a problem. Uh, some of them are intended, some of them are not, but report any of them to us anyway. Um, now, as I say, if you do want to be part of the SDA3 beta, then send us a message either over here or on our Skype addresses ideally here uh, because I don't like my Skype being too full uh, <laughs> and we will add you um, there are no requirements aside from being able to follow the instructions that you've just been given and of course you are given in paper format or in web format uh, from Bain and to be willing to de dedicate a little bit of time to testing uh, it's not just supposed to be a fun thing. That is, that's one thing that we, we've got to stipulate. Uh, if you want to be in the beta, please be ready to do a little bit of testing. It's, it's not just so you can have the game early. Um, and we have to make a disclaimer as well. As developers, we may introduce bugs into the, uh, the game that you're playing. Uh, we may introduce changes that are game-breaking or they, they harm your experience. Uh, it's generally the case that we don't do that we're pretty good by now we've been doing this for six years so uh it's very rare that we will break the game but it is a possibility so if you're just doing it for fun don't bother wait for the full version if you really want to help us as a team and i really really hope you do you've been amazingly supportive of us so i mean uh, you just have to look at our page to know i mean if, if i just expand this to as large as you go right now in popularity we are fourth of 27,744 different mods on mod db that's absolutely remarkable and it's a testament to how much people appreciate Star Trek itself and of course Star Trek Armada 3 because we've been around for a long long time um, and we absolutely love your comments we can see a lot of uh, uh, people are commenting John's in there he's a regular commenter uh, John Powell he I think he got onto the beta program yesterday so he managed it well done John um, and yeah, generally speaking, it's an amazing experience for us to be able to uh, speak to you in this way. So do be ready to test with us. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's enough jibber jabber from me now. Uh, I do hope this has been somewhat enlightening for you. If it hasn't, do let me know. Tell me if you think that you need to know a little bit more about how to do things. And I'll, I'll do my best to help you out. For now, this is the goal of GB Gaming out. <laughs>